Get ready for the 4th of July and summer fun in the sun by taking some precautions during these hot temperatures. And with us this morning, author and nutritionist Pam Nisevich Bede to tell us some more about ways for us to stay mm -hmm. safe in this summer heat. Um, we're going to be chatting about some of the things that you need to look for because uh, she's teaming up with Pedialyte yep. and the global healthcare company Abbott to share some of those tips with us on ways for us to stay better hydrated. Pam, good morning. Welcome to Studio 3. So glad to have yeah. you. Yeah. Good to see you. Good morning. Yes. Yeah, so why is hydration? We hear it all the time, but why is it so important? And what are the signs of dehydration? So as a sports dietitian, mom to three active kids, as an active sweaty runner myself, I can tell you hydration is of utmost importance if we want to optimally tackle our day. But sometimes thirst is not our best indicator of when we need to add in fluids. Instead, we want to be really proactive. And here's why. 60 to 70% of our body is made up of fluid. And losing just 2% of our body weight due to fluid loss, due to dehydration, can really set us back. So those common symptoms of dehydration, like fatigue, irritability, dizziness, um, headache due to dehydration, hydration, a lot of these symptoms are preventable if we're just proactive about our fluid and electrolyte intake. So Pam, what are some recommendations, some personal recommendations mm -hmm. on ways for us to stay safe and beat this heat? So think through those your day, the before, the during, and after. So before you head out for a day in the heat, in the sun, you want to be pushing those fluids. And you want to think through this for yourself and for your family, for kids and adults. So you can grab a science-backed electrolyte drink like a Pedialyte because it's going to have fluids and it's going to have the electrolytes to replace what you're losing. Electrolytes are special minerals like sodium, potassium, chloride, magnesium, phosphate, and what these minerals do is help our bodies function optimally. Um, we want to add these in throughout the day. During activity, you can add in electrolyte, and you can also add in fluids. And when you get home, you want to replace what you've been losing, right? Mm -hmm. So you can grab the Pedialyte freezer pops for a cool and refreshing treat. Across your day, you can also get up to 20% of your daily fluids from foods alone. So you can see the fruits, the vegetables, a lot of these items are up to 90% just water. So adding in cucumber, melon, items like these, you're getting in vitamins, minerals, the fiber that we all need, as well as electrolytes. So you're helping yourself with hydration and you're also nourishing yourself um, and staying energized in a healthy manner. Oh, I like these ideas. Any other ways that you want to remind us to hydrate? Yes, so water alone is a great choice depending on what your day hands you. But if you're actively sweating, if it's hot and humid outside, you really want to think through adding in the electrolytes from a beverage like Pedialyte. You want to pause before you add in a lot of sugary drinks. Sometimes we turn to a pop or a juice or other beverages for rehydration. Think of those beverages as a source of energy, a source of calories, not a source of hydration because the sugar content actually slows down hydration. It slows down the flow of the fluids from the gut to where it needs to go throughout the body. So don't lean on those sugary drinks for hydration. Instead, grab the right optimal balance of the electrolytes and the fluids. Um, use the water, you know, go with fruits and vegetables, but hold off on those really sugary beverages. That's a, a good yeah. recommendation. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's so interesting to see all the ways that Pedialyte has come up with these ways for us to stay hydrated. I used to always think of like Pedialyte as a kid's thing, but right. hey, it's for us adults too. Yeah. So that's uh, really neat. Pam, before we let you go here, any other advice that you can share with us? And if we're wanting to find more information about all of these products here, where could our viewers go? Yes, so advice is be proactive about that hydration. Kind of like you said, you can grab the stick packs, you can keep the Pedialyte stick packs with you at all times like I do. You can visit us at Pedialyte.com for more information. You can find Pedialyte in the baby and pharmacy aisle and on Amazon.com. And remember, the before, the during, and after for hydration, you want to be thinking through your day. That's a, that's a great reminder. Oh, yeah. And I like the idea of the popsicles. I'm going to have to look for them. Pam, yeah, the great yeah. yeah, thanks so much for sharing this with us. You're welcome. Have a great day. You, you too. too.